Welcome to Inside the Legend, where we bring you history and fiction's most notorious figures and pour hot, steaming light on history's mysteries. Join Chaz Hannigan and Rhonda Cocapelli as they probe Inside the Legend. Good evening, and welcome to Inside the Legend. I'm your host, Chaz Hannigan. My co-host, Rhonda Cocopelli, could not be here tonight due to her continuing battle with full-body herpes. My guest tonight is a true legend and a household name. Please welcome Medusa! Oh, hello, public. Hello, Chaz. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, darling, if my turban starts twitching, please let me know. Now, Medusa, it says here that you are a gorgon. Indeed. Which I believe is a type of veined Italian cheese. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a figure from classical mythology. And I am Chaz Hennigan. But we've already done the introductions. So tell us. What was it like to be touched for the very first time like a virgin? Oh, you're thinking of Madonna, the singer. I'm Medusa, the Gorgon. And I've still got it, everybody. Ha! <laughs> Amazing how you constantly reinvent yourself. You are truly an inspiration to celebrity cheese enthusiasts everywhere. Now, you worked for Athena, goddess of wisdom. Yes. Until you had an affair with her brother Poseidon. Was that wise? Oh, darling, when the god of the ocean wants to rub you in lotion, you hop up on that wave and you ride, sweetie. Medusa has no regrets. And I suppose it got you the recording contract you always wanted. But now, you are cursed for all eternity. Once a legendary sex symbol, now... Well, look at you. Okay, well, let's see how many pelvic salutes you're getting when you're my age, sweetheart. Oh, no, 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 no offense. Obviously, you're trying not to let your age define you, what with all the obsessive working out and the arms like cords, but seriously, aren't you just throwing hot dogs down a hallway? Oh, can you explain that metaphor? Or is it, does the carpet match the drapes? Oh, 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 I know what you're getting at, and the answer is yes, baby snakes. Whew, so now you are damned for all eternity viewed by the few who remember you as a monster. Oh. Or even worse, a golden oldie. How does that make you feel? Honey, I've got snakes for hair. How do you think I feel? Now, I understand you also have the ability to turn men to stone. Oh, well, just the most important part. Right. The brain. Would you care to demonstrate on me? <laughs> Personally, I believe my brain is so solid it would be impervious to turning to stone. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? I am. Let's see if she's still got it. <laughs> well, there you see. The superior brain is good. Oh, oh. oh, oh. oh. <sighs> what did you do? <laughs> Never fails with the males. All right, darling. Well, I've really got to be going. Good luck with that boner. Oh. They tend to stick around forever. Oh, does anyone have a bucket of baby mice? My head is starving. Medusa, everyone. Oh, boy. Well, that's all the time we have tonight. Join us next week when we ask Zeus, fashionable beard-wearing god of lightning, or lazy-eyed African-American wrestler turned actor. Until next time, we're a legend in your own mind. Oh. Is anybody here a lefty? Yeah.